everybody. Uh, welcome back. This is April with Plan With April. You knew that already since you are tuning in. In the background, I am watching Julie of Julie's Plan tell me all about the Erin Condren Daily Duo. I just ordered it. Um, I was going to order it a couple days ago, and then I'm like, I talked myself out of it. I'm like, April, you do not need another notebook. You just don't. Then I decided I need to quit lying to myself, and I do need not only another notebook, but another planner. So that's what I did. This morning, though, I'm doing something a little different with you guys. So I've had this dot grid notebook from Walmart for quite some time. It's got removable pages in it, which is why I haven't used it. It feels very, mm, let me, hold on, let me, let me see if I can fix this a little bit. A little bit, is that better? I wanna make sure you can't see my, there we go. Okay, so I've had this notebook for a while. Haven't really known what to do with it because it feels like if I have pages that ripped out, I would rip them out and then I would be I'd be sad that I tore them out. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense. It feels it feels non-permanent. So anyway, the saying, smile often, dream big, I don't care for that saying on the front of it, so I tried to white it out. I'm going to have to work a little bit more on it. I think on this page, I'll do like a cover page with um, what it's for. Are you ready what it's for? Yesterday, I was sitting on my lunch hour and I was trying to figure out how many calories I was eating because yeah, I'm back on that bandwagon of trying to control what I put in my mouth or at least be aware of what I'm putting in my mouth. That's what she said. So at the table, I was just messing around with a piece of paper and I was doodling on it and I was marking off what I had for breakfast, lunch, and what I was planning on having for dinner, right? And it actually did help because I had I had a homemade breakfast burrito for breakfast, go figure, and it was 1,036 calories. And there wasn't really anything in this breakfast burrito that I would have like shied away from trying to lose weight at all. I mean, there's just sausage, provolone cheese, eggs, green onions, uh, ranch dressing, and a tortilla, like a big burrito tortilla. A thousand calories. I just about crapped my pants. I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> so I've got more than half of my, I mean, I've got two thirds of my daily calories just in breakfast. So then for lunch, I had a sandwich and I was like, okay, cheese, Swiss cheese is like 106 calories. So not to get all caloric with you guys this morning, I thought I would just sit down and move this into this dot grid and just kind of work off of it because I do want to be able to flip back and look at my progress and see how see how I'm doing if nothing else then just to be aware of how how my weight is progressing and how I can better control it I don't want to be you know a size zero I don't have I'm, I'm five seven I currently weigh 254 so I I need to lose weight mm, I want to lose weight I would say I want to lose weight more than I need to I'm not unhealthy I don't have like any issues so to speak with um, like health reasons or anything like that so let's go ahead and get started I don't know I think I want to just do I've got some ephemera that I want to use. I've got some washi tape that I want to utilize and I may or may not use all of this but I did pull all of this out of my ephemera book just to be able to utilize it. So there's the washi I pulled out. There's the little ephemeras I pulled out. We're gonna see if we can make this work while I have Julie's plans going in the background and of course I've got my black coffee No creamer for me this week, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is, right? Like there's no, there's no way around this healthier eating, drinking, and being, I guess, more aware of what I'm doing. And part of me is like happy about it. And the other part of me is like, realistically, I don't like to control 
my diet in any way. Like I just, I don't. I just, I don't like to. So this is, it'll be a bit of a struggle. If you've been part of my channel for a while now, you know that I have struggled with weight, with weight loss, with maintenance, other than I can maintain this weight like a mad fool. Like this weight is not hard for me to maintain at all. My body doesn't doesn't demand much at this weight. I can eat whatever I want, drink whatever I want, do whatever I want, and it pretty much maintains here. So I'm just layering. I really, I have no rhyme or reason to any of this. I am simply just putting some stickers down to add some color and some texture to this page before I start um, writing my little, my little log. I don't know about you guys. How are your cuticles? Good grief. Mine are horrible right now. Horrible. Um, oh, funny story for you. Cause I know sometimes I have a funny story. I do today. Uh, I did my Walmart grocery pickup order and I had ordered lotions, um, razors, avocados, tomatoes. What else did I get? Just some random things, right? That we needed. So I get there last night to pick up my order and I get it and they sign for it and he puts it in the back of the car and I'm backing out and I hear my name being yelled by somebody else. And I'm like, yeah, he's like, I've got the rest of your order. I'm like the rest of your order. He's like, yeah, you had two orders. I'm like what? What do you mean? I had two orders. He's like, it looks like you placed one on Sunday and then you placed one on Monday. They were the exact same things. Like I had gone in, placed an order, and then I guess forgot that I placed an order and I placed another order. So I get home and I told Wes, I'm like, oh, guess what I did? He's like, I don't know, what did you do? And I, I tell him and he's like, what? I said, yeah. So. We have double the amount of avocados, bananas, uh, baby tomatoes, the whole, the whole nine yards. He's just like April. I'm like, I know. So for snacks today, I'm going to be doing baby tomatoes. Oh yeah. And then I was asking, uh, Alexa, I'm like, how many calories are in a potato? Just curious. Right. And she's like, oh, Potatoes are packed with blah, 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 which makes them great if you're trying to put on weight. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, frick, potatoes are out, I guess. How else is she going to ruin my life? I laugh. She's not. But you know what I mean. I'm like, what? Oh, I think. Okay. Back it up. Back, back, back it up. I've got to find. I love my G2s, but this notebook is not going to be G2 friendly. Sure, let's switch a little bit. I need a thicker tip. Oh, that's what she said. I'm gonna have to rummage through my stuff. So let's go here and let's do, I'm just gonna do a lot of hand lettering. It'll give me a good reason to, or a good opportunity to practice um, some different lettering styles, I think. Right? So I've got this. I'm going to color that in. Oh, cuticles. I really need to take better care of my fingers. They're like dry and cracky and they hurt. They hurt so much. Um, oh, back to you, EC, because that's usually what I have on my channel is Erin Condren. If you are an Erin Condren buff, uh, hang out, subscribe. Usually that's what I'm planning in, but this morning was a little different because I just wanted to do this. Um, I'm excited to receive the dailies, which means if you're subscribed to my channel, even if you're not, if you're just tuning in, when that arrives, so in June, I will start doing Monday through Friday daily plan with me so you guys can see how I'm setting up the dailies. It'll only be used for work, which means I'll probably retire my hourly that I'm using now and just use that. But I'm not going to like 
commit to retiring it until I actually, you know, use it and see if I like it. Oh, an egg. Green onion. They are my favorite. Ranch and a tortilla, which killed me. That's what I was saying, a tortilla. The tortillas that I used were 352 calories just for the tortilla. For the cheese, like I said, 212, because I did two slices, because who doesn't love cheese, right? So, yeah, that was two, what was these? 564 calories that I had yesterday was tortilla and cheese. What? I know. That's why I'm trying to be better at tracking it because that is that is ridiculous, right? Like I'm not the only one that thinks that is ridiculous. So my whole lunch was 1000 And I'm not going to beat myself over up over it because I'm just doing this to see, right? I'm not going to be like, oh my gosh, worst food decision I've ever made. I'm probably not. I'm probably going to discover I make a lot of bad food decisions. Um, somebody said that there's really good like low carb. I'll tell you a story. Once I start going low carb options for me personally, I'm just better not having that food because I'm not a low carb person at all. I don't, I don't like diet pop. I don't, I don't do diet anything. So having that as a viable option is just not a viable option at all. I admire those that can do that. I'm just, I am not one of them. If I'm going to do it, it's going to have to be a cheat and it's going to have to be full fat. It's going to have to be full flavor, like pasta. I tried the whole lentil pasta thing. Ugh, no. Mm -mm. Nope, it just didn't do it for me. Uh, for my sandwich yesterday, I did thin slice Dave's bread, uh, Dave's killer bread. And it's like 70 calories a slice, so it's not that bad. The two slices of Swiss cheese literally threw my sandwich off by 212 calories, which is dumb. I like my cheese. I like my cheese. Let's see. It had lettuce. Oh, we also did, because you guys know my husband is mostly vegetarian, sometimes vegan. We did the... Portobello mushroom bacon. Mmm, me. It was okay. And you think I need to find a different recipe because it wasn't, it wasn't the best at all. I don't think I cooked it long enough because it wasn't crunchy. It was really a weird mushroom texture. I thought the mayo would have been something that was bad for me, but there was only like 90 calories, which sounds like a lot, but it's only like one and a half tablespoons. I can live with that. So my whole lunch was not horrible uh, calorie wise. Or I feel like 472 calories for lunch was manageable. I don't think... I don't think that I need to change. I think lunch is fine. I think today I'm going to leave out all my cheese. Cheese. Oh, cheese. I'm going to miss my cheese, but I need to make that as a healthy effort. And then dinner last night, I had hopes of doing a smoothie. Um, I didn't. I came home. I was tired. I obviously had to unpack double groceries, double groceries, because I'm a dork. So dinner was not that great. I don't even, it, it's, it was just one egg and 
uh, half a beer. I know, right? So good for me. So hard boiled egg, because I was hard boiling eggs while I was unpacking groceries because I got two dozen eggs instead of one dozen, I swear. And half a beer. That's, that's a very nutritious dinner. I think if you, uh, you know, you're looking for a mostly liquid diet, I could probably be your health coach. If you're looking for something a little bit healthier, you should probably contact someone else. So, um, I know, hold on, let me, let me write this down. I know roughly a hard boiled egg is 91 and half of a beer was 62 so 153 do you guys get that too so 153 calories for dinner which i don't think that really counts as a meal it doesn't but again i'm not going to beat myself up because i'm really just trying to realistically realistically track what it is that i'm doing what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my mouth, all that good stuff. I also had mm, maybe 10 strawberries yesterday. So I need to put those down. What else did I have? I think that was it. So I'm going to put, hmm, I'm not sure what happened there. S N A C K. And they're roughly 10 calories each. I roughly had 10, so I'm gonna say 100 calories. I'm also a lot of times rounding up, so, and I'm fine with that too. Again, not an exact science. I'm not, I'm not weighing my food, I'm not, you know, doing doing anything like that. I just want to get a baseline of food that I'm eating and be a little bit more health conscious. Just a little more health conscious about what I'm doing. So I think I'm going to put this here. Do I have anything to go on top of it? Bow chicken mow wow. No, maybe I won't do that there. Oh. Oof. And the other thing you'll notice about me is I'm very straight. <laughs> I need to do better about getting out of that weird, that weird box of doing everything straight. I always have. My abstract mind doesn't kick in for a very long time. Like I have to do arts and crafts for a long period of time at one time for like my crafty brain to kick in and be like, oh yeah, this is, this is fun. This is cool. Let's, let's make this crooked. Otherwise, my brain's like, no, make it straight. You're driving us crazy. Don't make it crooked. Tell me if you can relate. <laughs> Down below. You guys are going to be like, good grief, April. April, you're crazy. I know. That's why you're here. Because I'm just crazy enough to be entertaining. Do, do, do. So what I'm going to do down here is I just want to write a few notes from today. Um, or from the day, just kind of mm, like things I want to do differently um, tomorrow or things that I, you know, I notice that I'm like, oh, you know, if I change this simple thing, I'll, I'll do better about this or, you know, just, just random thoughts about food that I had during the day. Let's put this here. Perfect. And again, there's no rhyme or reason to this. However you want to decorate it, you decorate it. It's just kind of fun to use up some of my ephemera. I think, do I want to do a little line in between these? Why not? Why not just add a bit of a pop of glitter, right? 
Why not? Separate those out a little bit. You guys all know, straight lines make me happy. Okay. That's a little, a little off and I'm okay with that. I did it on purpose. I want that there? No, but I could put these there. Come on, get happy. Why is that song in my head? What happened? Let's do here. And here. Perfect. Okay, back to my notes. So, I'm going to get my other pen. Come on. Come on, get happy. I need to get the point sevens, I guess. Err. I'm just not a big seven fan. I like the tens. I just don't. Let's try it. It may just be too juicy. Oh, that's a word. Too juicy. I'm going to move these off of here. Okay. So leave off cheese. No more tortillas, which sure makes me sad, but that is not to say I can't ever have one again. I can. I'm just getting the baseline. So here's, here's Tuesday. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what you think about this. I'm going to use this page probably as like a journal entry of how I felt for the day. So I'm just going to do some free writing on there. Maybe just washi tape uh, the top and bottom with a thicker washi. Maybe this bicycle one because I think it's really cute. And then um, maybe write really big my thoughts or whatever and just kind of fill that in. So if this is something you're interested in seeing regularly, Please feel free to let me know down below in the comments. Subscribe. Shout out to all of my amazing Patreons. I love you guys. Um, any ideas you have for me, please, down below in the comments or over on the Patreon page. I will talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.